गुड मॉर्निंग माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट दी ऑपोजिशनल डिफेंड डिजॉर्डर एज यू नो दैट वी आर स्टडिंग द चैप्टर दिव्यांग एंड फिजिकल एजुकेशन एंड स्पोर्ट्स ऑपोजिशनल डिफेंड डिजॉर्डर इज अ behavioral pattern in which we can see the anger irritation mood swing argument and different behavior pattern in the student a disorder in a child marked by defiant and disobedient behavior to authority figures the authority figures may be the teacher mother father parent grandparents elder brother sister anyone so whenever the person check any activity of the victim he or she can feel <laughs> the pattern in the behavior full of anger irritation mood swing or any behavioral problem some children with odd are only evident in once usually at home but in some time we can see that the victim is not only showing this kind of behavior problem inside the house but also the behavior is not up to mark out of the home even the best behaved children can be difficult and challenging at times but if your child or teenager has a frequent and persistent pattern of anger irritability or going defense or vindictiveness towards you and other authority figures he or she may have oppositional defend disorder means within 24 hours sometimes it happens that the person cannot control his anger and he or she can overreact on any behavior but if the child is frequently showing this kind of behavior which is full of anger irritability and different kind of behavioral problems which are not up to the society markdown they may be treated as victim of oppositional defiant disorder as a parent we should not try to manage these all things doctors or the experts of the mental health can help them this can be treated with the behavioral treatment additional therapy and possibility of medication would also be there so let us know about the symptoms of odd the beginning of this disease or disorder may be seen during preschool years 
Sometimes it may be developed later on, but almost always before the early teen years. This behavior causes significant impairment with family, social activities, school and work. Here we are having the points. The first symptom may be the angry and irritable mood. They may lose the temper very easily. Frequently you will see that they are touchy and easily annoyed by the others. They always be resistant and angry. If we talk about the argumentative and defend behavior, the victim of this disorder may also argue with the adults or the people in authority. They simply refuse to follow the rules and regulations or request. They may deliberately annoy or upset people. They blame others for his or her mistakes or misbehaviors. ODD can vary in sensitivity or its severity. It may be mild, moderate or severe. For some children, symptoms may first be seen only at home, but with time extend to other setting such as school and with friends. Let us talk about the causes of TODD. The causes may be genetics, actual child's natural disposition or temperament and possible near sorry neurobiological differences in the way nerves and the brain function also the environment may be the cause of odd lack of supervision harsh discipline abuse or negligence may be the cause of ODD. ODD may be severe or it can bring a lot of problems, poor school and work performance, means the child can not perform well in the school. In society, his behavior or her behavior may be seen antisocial. Impulses may be like not under control, means whatever the, the command instructions are being given, given to, to, to the victim that are impulsed by the person. They may use some kind of restricted edible of substances. And finally, it can bring to the suicidal attitude to the victim. 
the positive parenting and early treatment can help improve behavior and prevent the situation from the getting worse so it is the duty of the parents as well as the teacher neighborhood or the society that whatever the causes are there of odd must be checked and restricted if it would be restricted or controlled in very early the odd can be managed treatment can help restore your child self esteem and rebuild a positive relationship between the mother father parents and the child always we should try that whatever the environmental factors are present in the society in the surrounding of the victim that must be controlled and checked